Many young Ghanaians gathered at the College of Physicians and Surgeons in Accra to listen to the astute South African politician and Pan-Africanist. Julius Malema stepped on the podium and called on young people to hold their leaders accountable. He said corruption pervades many African countries, including Ghana, and is eroding the gains achieved after independence from colonial rule. He urged young people in Africa to champion the ideals of Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah. Political freedom that Kwame Nkrumah achieved and generations after him achieved is meaningless without economic freedom. You can vote until you are purple. As long as there is no bread on the table, that vote is meaningless. It's an election year for both Ghana and South Africa. And as both countries gear up for the polls, political and social activists are rallying young people to make meaningful contributions that will decide their own future. Malema also emphasized the need for a united Africa. We must create a solid foundation for one Africa because one Africa is a threat to Europe and America. Africa with one president, Africa with one currency, Africa with one military command, Africa with one parliament. Malema's message struck a chord with the young people who came to listen to him, but some believe it may be difficult to achieve this. We have 56 heads of state, but when we are invited to UN and the Security Council, we don't have even a single voice. So it's high time Africa must have a unified force who will be cheering up and pushing the Africa agenda. So one Africa has to be established. Our minds have been programmed to, believe, to, to make us believe we are different. And as long as we do not uh, dismantle those imaginary uh, and mental barriers, it's going to be very difficult for us to see ourselves as one. The event was organized by Socialist Movement Group, Arise Ghana. Beyond the discussions held at this event, Pan-Africanists hope young people in Ghana and the rest of the continent will take steps to play key roles in changing the face of politics on the continent. They believe the voices of young people need to be heard in shaping democracy and demanding a united Africa. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, SABC News, Accra, Ghana.